all right so welcome back again my name is jesse and in this wonderful and exciting tutorial we're trying to explore some very important concept which is useful in case you are trying to do any machine learning project so this is still part of the machine learning in python stress so we're trying to consider some very powerful libraries we can use to help us in monitoring or doing monitoring or data logging for your project so to recap one of the aspects of machine learning is after you have done any of the project or any part of the pipeline you have to monitor your works right so sometimes you when you're monitoring you monitor the metrics and some of the powerful libraries you can use is prometheus and grafana and you can also do some log collection right not just only for machine learning project but for software or application logs using kafka and the splunk or splunk i don't know how they pronounce it you also have for api monitoring you can use centerflow 7 or AWS SageMaker model hosting, right? So these are some of the powerful libraries you can use in general when you are trying to do any data science or software project, right? So let's see some of the other packages you can also use in case you are trying to work with models and pipelines or experiment tracking, right? So we have MLflow, the almighty MLflow by Databricks. We also have Sacred, a very powerful and nice, simple library to use. There is also Weight and Bias, which is also useful for tracking and tracking your experiment, your machine learning experiment. Then there's also Neptune AI, right? Of course, there are a lot of libraries and a lot of platforms that you can use to monitor your models and your pipelines as well as to track your experiment. So let's see one of the libraries we'll be using, which is called Whilelogs. So Whilelog is a powerful Python library that allows you to be able to not just track your models, but also logs all your data or every aspect of the machine learning pipeline. So for example, something like this. Like, so for example, something like this. So in case you are trying to do any project, right? So with Whilelogs, you can log the information coming from your training stage from your validation stage from your monitoring stage from your evaluation stage so while logs makes it very easy for you to, you to log every part of your machine learning pipeline right very cool so the reason is that it is lightweight so it is very easy for you to use and it's having some very, very powerful features so with while log you're able to track metadata about your data set from any of the stages i showed you you can also track Counts right so no value data types you can also track or log your summary statistics which is very important like some mean max variance you can also track or monitor or log your distributions as well as some mis miscellaneous activities so let's see how to work with this wonderful package called wirelogs so to install it just go with pip install wirelogs right so i've already installed it on my system so just go back to your terminal then you just install it on your terminal right which i've already done so let's go back again and then so we're going to go with pip. Let's make it bigger. Pip install y logs. Right. That's how to install it on your system. Perfect. Now let's go back again to our workspace and let's see how to work with it. So as I said, we can be able to use to track all of these things. So I'm just going to open a simple data set. So we're going to load our package. So we're going to be putting pandas. In case you have any question or contribution, you can let us know inside the comment section below. And then this is going to be the package for right for data login right data login so let's see how to do that i spelled the data login wrong okay so to to work with just go it from let's first of all import it so import y logs right and let's check the various method of this particular package so this is going to be the methods as you always do and then attributes of this particular package so there are y logs i'm going to see the various things we can do with this wonderful package Okay, so let's check it out so if i check it out here so we have a lot of things we have the data set profile which allows you to be able to profile your data set we have the column profile to profile co columns we also have some very powerful features like get or create a session which is a very important thing you'll be using and in case you are trying to work with um, ml flow which is also a, a very nice library for tracking your models for monitoring your pipelines and then your experiment you can also use the ml flow option right and then also there is reset for to, to allow you to be able to do some cool stuff like to reset your session so let's see how to work with the first one right so the first step is that we, i'm going to let's say i'm doing a project right and this is my project and i'm going to load the data set right so this i'm going to load my data set so dfpd.read csv we have inside my data folder i have a folder called iris so let's check and see whether it is there i don't have any further but let me put the data set there i'm going to create a folder called data right inside the same place I have and I'm going to paste in my data right so this is you're just using the iris data set you can use any data set that you want right but just to give you an idea so I just pass in the iris.csv right? iris is common for everybody to know perfect so 
I'll just go with something simple to check out the data set. I've done some analysis. I want to keep track of whatever to notice there, right? So by default, if I do a simple s summary of this, it's going to be df.describe. I'm going to get the metrics, right? So I'm going to get a count of each and every of the column and then the rest, right? So something very simple. But with while logs, right, you can be able to log all of this particular information, right, out of the book so that you're able to track whatever you're doing. So the next time you come, it's going to be easy for you. So let's see how to do that. So I'll just go back again, and this is going to be the method one. So we have several methods. We have method one, right, that is simple for format. I'm just going to import it so from y logs, import, get, or create session. Right? So this is the most important thing there. So from while logs, we are getting or creating a session. That is the important thing. And then we must, first of all, create a session. So create a session. Like just like you buy Spark, right? Get or create. Then I'm just going to create my session. I can give it any name. I'm going to call it as get or create a session. Right, perfect. So this is going to get or create a particular session. It's telling me that the missing configuration, but it's still going to work anyway. Then the there are several ways you can work with it, right? So you can just use the with contest and the contest manager, contest manager format option. So in that case, it's going to be like this. So with session, right? Dot logger. Then I can just pass in a data set name, right? So let's give it my data set name. So let's go data set name, data set name, right? And this is going to be any name I want. So I can give it the name of my project, the name of the data set. So I can call that the Iris data set, right? Perfect. You can also specify the time. So there are a lot of things you can also do. If I go back and I check it out here with this option, the help session.logger, you can see that we have a lot of things we can do with this particular function. Wait, missing something. Yep. See what I'm doing. Right, so you see that we have a lot of things. You can get the dataset name, right? You can also specify the dataset time, so that you, in case you have data set that is coming in batches, right? Maybe you're getting data set from a streaming service. You can also specify the time. You can also specify the session time. You can add some tags, some metadata, some profile, and some real cool stuff, right? Very cool, right? That is some of the things you can do. So we are just picking the dataset name, and then you we'll continue from there. Perfect. That is all right. That is the first thing. Then the next option is that I have to specify. That is it, right? So as logger. Perfect. This is a with contest. Then I'm just going to log. So you can with the logger you can log data frame. So the log data frame here is going to get the particular data frame data frame that you are working on. So this is the data set here, which is the iris data set with all of this description, right? So I I can log it out. That's the basic understanding. So if I go with this, it's going to log this particular information here, right? And the moment I do that, if I go back here and I check my here, it's going to create an output folder, right? I'm going to put an output folder wherever I'm going to get all the stuff there, right? So let's go back again and check. As you can see, I don't know whether you notice, see so that there's an output folder. So the moment you log any data from any of the data from your data set, your images, your models, it's going to create an output folder. So inside this output folder, we are going to have the name of the data set you have, right? Which is Iris data set. Inside it's going to have a timestamp with this, and then inside you're going to have a lot of information. So here is where all the information are kept, right? Very interesting. It's going to compute the metrics, the count, the distribution, everything. Then inside the JSON folder, this is where you can actually visualize it, right? So let's see how to work with it, right? So this is something very basic about it, right? Now I'm just going, going to go back, right? In case I want to visualize the result of whatever I have, this is going to be the next option. This is going to be visualizing of metrics, right? Of basically of metrics or of logs. Apologies for the noise you're hearing behind, right? Of, of the logs, how do you do that? It's very simple. So the simplest way is that we just go with this option, which is going to be from y logs, right? Dot this, right? Then from here, I'm going to import my profile viewer. Right, that is all. So this is a simple function to help us visualize our stuff. Then I'll just go with profile. It's a function. So this profile viewer function we have is going to look at the current location, right? And search for the file. It's going to search, go into this, our output file that we had here. Output file, go to the data set and then bring out a simple visualization for it. So let's run it. 
if it returns true that means that it's able to locate it yeah true perfect so it's going to use your default browser to open so as you can see that's use my it's using my default browser pin so if i open my default browser, it's going to come with this particular option here right something very simple so this is something simple that to be using perfect so let's see how to get your results so get your result just go to select json profile that's the first thing then you are going to go to the location that of our work so here was the work right and you had our output here our iris data then i'm just going to display and i'll pick for my json profile right so this is it profile json click on it open it's going to give us a very nice visualization of the entire stuff which is very cool right so the same metrics so that's giving us some very cool metrics as you can see from here so very nice you can click on this to get the details with all of the bin values the histogram details perfect you can also come back here let me make it bigger right you can also search for a particular feature so all the features are as in feature is a column right so all the features are listed here so if i click on the species it's going to rotate to that particular place if i click on let's say the petal weight it's going to rotate to that particular place right very nice and you can also check some other stuff here by going out you can just get the total count for each and every of the feature the now fraction the unique values there the data type right, fractional we have data type count we have the mean the standard deviation the mean the first quartal median just like we did in the summary right in the describe here but with more features right just like something like this but with more some cool wonderful features that is how to work with this particular package you can also search for a particular feature so let's search for say this species and it's going to automatically pick only that one here and as you can see we only have the species column here right showing with the result right very nice i can also go back again and check for another feature like you say say power say power width right let's find a feature and see that has come right so that is how to work with this wonderful package once i clean up this all the features are going to come down here right very nice so that is how to work with Wireworks. it's a very useful package that allows people to track and log your data right or your entire pipeline in case you are working with you can even add it with or use it alongside spark and then uh, ml flow so let's go back again and see the next method this is going to be method number two right so the first thing is that you just go with from while logs import create a session you create a session then you log it out right you can log the frame you can log a lot of things not just these ones okay so let's go back again and try the method two it's going to be method two right so the method is going to be a simple option so this is for visualization so in case you have any question or contribution you can just put inside the conversation below so let's see the method two so the method two is very simple instead of using the with the contest manager option right you can just go straight away with just a normal variable so let's go just my session one right you could go with get or create session right there's another way so there's another option right i'm creating another session then i'll just go with a simple variable so let's go just my let's use a different data set so movie movie db right something like that yeah movie data set something like that there's a different data set then i'll just go with session one dot log data frame so i have to pass in my data frame there so i've not actually loaded the data set so let's check the data set first so df2 so pd dot read underscore csv i'll go into my data folder and i'll pick my movies data set which is coming from here right as you can see perfect so that is the data set we have right now let's check it out it's quite a lot so df2 dot head right so this is the, this is the data set right with all of these particular variables and and stuff right so now i can log it back so df2 so df2 for that particular data set it's going to take some time for it to log it's going to log and compute the most important features there take some time for it to do that then after that i can actually do the same thing with it use the profile the profile viewer to view it or i can just get the summary here so you get summary of of or summary of metrics right right inside the ins instead of visualization you can also use the same thing here so how do you do that so it's going to be very simple so let's go to my summary right and i'm just going to go with my movies it's taking some time for it to run because it's quite huge dot flat summary 
right that is a nested so with dot flash summary i can now move on and do whatever i want to do one thing here is i like just as above you can actually also specify the name that you want so let's give it a name so let's go to smoothie this is it right that's one thing we forgot like in case you are logging you should always give it a name so we run it again and then you check later on it's taking some time for it to run but we will still work on it so after this after it has computed or logged the data right we just move on from here you get the flash summary and with the summary you can get a lot of things there and you can also get pick a particular column right it's going to come in the format of the dictionary so you can actually pick a particular column let's say i want to get only the summary metrics right so in that case it's going to be my summary then it's, a, it's the format of a dictionary or data frame it's going to be my summary right that is something very simple so we are waiting for this one to load it's taking some time one nice thing about this particular program that it is lightweight so in case you are trying to use it on your system it is not going to affect you because it is lightweight right so i think it's not going to take more time of your training data because look at this imagine you're also training your data at the same time and your module is big to be taking a lot of time so it is very lightweight to help you with our stacks right it looks like it's taking some time so sometimes before you log you have to make sure that the data set is actually clean right so let's use a different data set because it's taking some time now just go back again and use the same iris data set that we're using right because the iris is simple so iris data set we go back again run it again right apologies for the noise you're hearing behind and then i'll just go back again create another session and this time i'm going to call it as let's say iris data right iris data set let's change this one from this to <laughs> iris df right run it again then now i can just change it right i'm just changing the name to make it easy for future people to use so this is going to generate a flash summary and now i can run it again you can see that's giving us a dictionary of all the various details that we need right which so is very cool right now you see that we have a summary here so i can actually get pick only that summary column and do whatever i want to do there's also histogram there is also some very cool stuff you can also work on right so there's also count and the rest so if i go back again and then i check out this in case i want to get a summary let's go summary does this it's going to give us the summary for each and every of the columns or the features the account there are no counts boolean count numeric count max mean sound deviation unique values and the rest a lot of features right there's about 40 of them very cool so that is how to work with this wonderful package anytime you just log in stuff it creates an output it creates an output with the result today if i go back again it's going to create an output with the result right that is something very simple very nice about this wonderful package so this is the second method so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can just put the comment section below there is also an option of resetting the default reset resetting the session so it's going to be get on to reset session going to be from y logs which is not important but it is still work because you are using the width contest it's going to work import my reset when you set default session right and this i can now use to reset the session that i created the new one so let's pick it like this so it's going to be reset default session and it's going to be reset right perfect so that is it's giving us an error but then yeah, that is how it works right okay so it's, it's missing uh the input part where i'm supposed to put my output right so that i would you know notice that it tracks all of them here so i have to specify the part here right that is something very simple so that is just by the way i have to specify the part here right? so part here right something like that okay so thank you for watching this tutorial in case you have any question or contribution you can put inside the comment section below and see you in the next session and you can also check our website we have some wonderful materials there if you go to the courses there are a lot of materials there you can also check on you can also check our courses on udemy right anyhow it anyhow you want it to be so thank you for watching see you another time stay blessed